Well, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the maintenance of a pivot and uh, the importance of uh, making sure it's operating, operating correctly. Uh, whenever we talk about water and land, we want to make sure that, that we get the water where we want it. Uh, one of the main things you want to look at, either in the spring or in the fall before or after you get finished, is your nozzles. <clears throat> the nozzles is where we deliver the water to the crop and if they're plugged or worn out, uh, you're not going to get the application rate that you're looking for. Uh, these are pretty simple. Uh, the variety that I'm using here, you've got a nozzle, you have a deflector, and you'll need to look at both of those. They just unscrew. The deflector has little veins that, that broadcast the water out, and the nozzle uh, meters the water to the crop. If these get uh, plugged in any way, it'll distort how that water flows through the deflector, and it's easy to tell. You can drive down along your pivot and you can see how that water is spreading out. If it's not spreading even, if it's heavier on one side, you know there's a problem. Or if it's not spreading out in a stream, if it's misting, you know that there's, there's something in obstructing that. You'll need to just take it apart and get that debris out of there and then simply put it back together. Another important part of your sprinkling system is the regulator. Uh, it reduces whatever pressure you have in your pivot down to uh, whatever the marks is on your on your regulator. This one is a 15 pound regulator so if I've got 30 pounds at this point it's going to reduce that down to 15. Uh, these can wear out and it will make it so that you're ap applying more or less water than you should at this particular point. Uh, they can get plugged also uh, and restrict the flow to your nozzles. Uh, again you just need to take them apart and get any debris out of them and then reassemble them. Uh, this particular one has a weight on it that keeps that from uh, uh, keeps it stable when the wind blows to get your application where you want it to be. We're going to visit a little bit now about maintenance on your gearboxes and on your tires at your pivot towers. Uh, it's important that you keep the right uh, air pressure on your pivot tires. If you look in your manual, it'll tell you what the recommendation is on the pressures on your tires. Uh, once a year, uh, preferably in the fall you need to check on moisture that's inside this gearbox. It does condensate and uh, build water in there. You just pull the plug off the bottom, loosen that plug up until uh, slowly until you can rattle those threads. You can f start seeing that water, it'll drip out, and then as soon as you see the oil start coming, you can tighten that back up. If uh, you're noticing that you're s using some oil, it's really very important that you tap that oil off inside your gearbox. Uh, this particular model has a plug on the side that you just fill up to the bottom of that plug. Some, you have to take this top cap off and fill that up to the top of that worm gear drive that's in the top of your uh, uh, gearbox. Uh, you also have a motor and a gearbox in the center of your tower. Uh, we have the electrical cord going in the back. We have the filler for the oil and the drain also. Uh, these are something you need to maintain the oil level on. Uh, make sure that, that that's up where you want it to be. Uh, you have your drive lines on either side that transfer the power from the gearbox to your, uh, uh, your, your wheels. Inside here you have your U-joint that needs to be maintained. Uh, there are neoprene breakaways that uh, will release if you have problems with your gearbox. Uh, those are all encased in these protector, protectors so they don't get uh, anything caught around those. All of this needs uh, periodically looked at and make sure that it's going to operate the way you want it to. When we're talking about pivots, uh, they operate on 480 uh, three-phase power. Uh, that's very dangerous uh, stuff, that, uh, that 480. Whenever you approach a, a pivot like this, you always walk up and touch it with the back of your hand. That way, if that's grounded out, that will throw you away from the pivot and not stick you to the pivot. So always touch the pivot with the back of your hand before you do anything else. There's a few maintenance things here at the center. One is up at the top. You'll need to grease that. You need to make sure that your drains are working properly so that in the winter time you get all the water out of this pivot. You've got your drain valve. You've got your screen at the center that uh, occasionally needs to be pulled out, sprayed off. Now, uh, these are a few things you need to be aware of at the center. Uh, we recommend that you look at the manual that comes with your pivot, has all your service and maintenance uh, uh, items in there with the hours that they need to be taken care of.